Hello. Welcome to the box room. David Bradley here. I have brought forth a small bowl of soapy water, which I will take this rather ugly disc, put it in, and shuffle it around some. Indeed. By the way, in, in here, I'm just spinning the disc on the circle on my finger. In here, it's basically dish soap and slightly warm water. Not, I'm sure if I were to put this in boiling water, the disc would fold up and it would be terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. So if I take it out and look at it, I do still see some sort of residue here and there. Which is hard for see well, it's hard for me to see, so it's hard for me to show you. I think what I will do <coughs> if I have one here and I can. I'm going to take a magic eraser and put it in here. Squeeze out the water. And then with great care. Tremendous care. Just basically rotate the disc over it. Very gently. On both sides, of course. Because I don't know which side anything is on. Just try to get as much of whatever filth might be on there. And it's funny, you know. Okay, squeeze that out. Even though, you know, I mean, stuff has come off, but even that quick moment, there is dirt. There he is. I think I will do that again. Very gently over the whole disc, both sides. And then I will take my finger and spin it around, I suppose. Huh. I think I've screwed up. I maybe should have brought another bowl to rinse it off with. I don't think the soap residue is too terrible. I didn't put tons in. <coughs> but maybe I should have done that. Now the idea I had was using this wooden hanger Finding a suitable place, which could be up here underneath where I have the camera. Ooh. And I know there's nothing down there. Is, I think, I will shake this off. Ooh, there's a bubble thing in the middle. Yep, oh, no bubbles. Just give it one rinse and drip. And put my finger in it and let it drip. And then, when it's pretty much dry, Take it and put it on the hanger so it can quite literally dry off. Yeah, do I see? I don't see tons of stuff on this. 
but definitely there is something that was the edge. So there was not even so how would you put it? Not quite so microscopic. Now other discs here. Ugh. Like I think this one here. is the absolute worst I think I have seen or am like it's like the disc jacket is immersed annealed and I think I tried to turn this disc it didn't want to turn so the thing of it is is when you do this you basically want to cut down the side just about the width of a hair which is not easy. I just don't want to cut the actual disc inside. Ooh, things are fine. All right, let's see this. Ooh. Okay, in some ways, I mean, this is bad. In some ways, it's not as bad. It's basically got stuff where the, the disc was. <laughs> exposed to the elements and there wasn't as much inside there was not but anyway both of the sleeves I believe oh yeah I mean these are toast There's, I'm not I'm not putting anything look at this. nothing will go back in there except I'm gonna try and find there's a the little piece that flew off the edge. There's that one. Oh yeah, there's another piece that flew off the edge. I'll stick that back in there. And that can go away. And now, after soaking a bit, there's, I can still see stuff on here. So I will once again take the magic eraser and very gently, well maybe I should just use the end, yeah that's pretty good, that works well, and go around the disc. It has a big flat end on it. And that is probably a good thing to use. I'm just looking again <coughs> for any signs of the slime. And you know what? As careful as I was in doing the disc, I might have cut a little bit. Oh dear. Well, okay, so as thin as a hair and then some. Yeah, I think I got a little tweak of disc that well, depending what's on the disc, depending where it's stored and all that stuff, and that, but it, it's and it may not even be in the in the area that it matters. Because it's I mean it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little flat spot. Yeah, I cut the disc. But I think from looking at what's, like, you can kind of see where things are. And I don't think it's going to make a difference. I don't think so. All right, so we'll spin that on the finger a little bit. And then... Using the same hanger that I can just shuffle that disc a little bit. I'll slip this one on. They are not touching. Huh. 
And now we'll see. I suppose I'll also see at some point if if I should have had another bowl here, and I probably should have. Oh well. Part of the learning process. All right, here's some more ugly discs. I'm not going to deal with them right now. I think what I might do as I'm watching things. Oh, you know what else I can do? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I see a little soap. You know what? I can pick this up and bring it back over here. I do see just a little wee soap residue. Yeah, is this going to help it or hurt it? I don't know. And now the discs are up against each other. And they're kind of stuck to each other. That was not the plan. Maybe I should have an individual hanger for each disc. Oh yeah, I see a little soap residue. Oh. Okay. Who down here? I wonder if my efforts to make this better are going to make it better or make it worse. I don't know. I'm just trying to get the soap off. But this is, this toilet paper is not dust free. So am I doing worse than if I just left it? I don't. I will put these back on the hanger in separate locations. I will put that up here if it's going to stay. There. And I'll let that dry. Okay, so what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Well, I was thinking this 64. Oh, yeah, I have notes on it. Oh. Let's sit here. These oh, vintage entertainment magazines. I will not say just entertainment for men. That is not fair. All right, there's more remnants from that dirty 64 I opened up the other day. Much, but what I can do because I have this little thing here and this magic eraser is there is this 1541. That hang on, if I hold it up, you should be able to see there's a lot of stuff on the top that is, um. Well, it's not like scratches, but it certainly is showing. Oh, you know what I forgot for this magic eraser? I don't need so. I don't even. Anyway, all right, we'll go with the soap because it's here. Anyway, I'm going to just take the magic eraser and run it across the top of this, which is a rather. It's a working 1541, but it definitely has. A lot of dirt. Now I'm not going to turn this on for a while, so it's okay. I'm going over the the vents, and in very short order, this pretty filthy, dirty Mark 1541 is looking pretty fine. And if I just run down the side here, literally, I was starting to fellow and I said, just use a magic eraser. It really, it's like, there was, there was marks on here, they're gone. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. And on this side too, it's just not very white, it's not very pure, it's not very lovely. Hmm. 
Not very lovely. And there isn't a whole bunch up here, but there is some. Now, uh, just to give one final example, I can try and get the front of this. It's in the light, and maybe that doesn't help. Ooh. Okay, look at the front of that. There's marks and stuff all over it. Looks like Coke, maybe. Maybe a Coke opened and splashed. Perhaps. Anyway, it's there. In perhaps as much as 30 seconds. Oh. That is looking pretty lovely. Pretty lovely. Now, I can't really do the bottom so well right now. But there's a little bit there. Because... I have my documentation on here. Yeehaw. But really, oh, okay. Now here's something. This is actually this is the kind of thing that actually hurts the magic eraser. Is if you go too hard into like the Commodore logo, <coughs> you can rip stuff. So I'll be gentle. But there's stuff there. Anyway, as I'm here. I didn't mean to have soap on here, but I do, so I'll just leave it. And the discs are hanging dry, which I'll probably leave for a day. So squeeze that out. Now, this is a very yellowed 1541. But just so you can see that there's, there's no trickery going on here. I'm going to take the magic... There's, there's definitely... I don't know what this is. Maybe it's coke. I'm going to take the magic... I'm going to rub it down it. And across it, and down it, and across it, and up. And that, those obviously ugly, dirty marks, are gone. Now, a little more rubbing is not going to hurt it either. But that sludge that was on there. Now it's still going to be yellowed, but that absolute horrid sludge. It, once again, it was probably Coke or coffee or something. It's gone. Gone, gone, gone. And if I do the sides, once again, still yellowed, won't take out scratches, but certainly the filth of time. Oh, I think I see. The marks of the feet from the other drive, or you know, probably the other 1541. The filth. A little mark. There's nothing wrong with taking a little extra time on this part. But anyway, that it's still yellow, but it's so much better. And I'll just go down the side. Give a quick wipe. There's a little, it looks like a pen mark here. It's gone. And shaboom. Much better. Still yellow. That is not what the magic eraser deals with. It deals with. Yeah. Got to be careful squeezing them out. It deals with the filth. And I can tell you right now, although, you know, once again, I didn't need soap in here. I, I forgot about that. If I was doing the disc thing. Maybe I don't even need soap for the disc thing. But I can see that the bottom of the water, after I squeeze this thing out, is brown in my hand it's full of soap
All right, so these disk drives, too, I will not crank them up quickly or in a hurry because I did run the vent pressure across the top. A little bit of moisture might have got inside, but I can tell you right now, just looking at the side of the one that isn't yellowed, it's looking pretty good. And if I pick up this with great care, maybe you can see... Why is that dripping? Anyway, you can see the water is dirty. And that's just, you know, things happen over... Like, even... Like, that's why they have air filters on things. Oh, you know what I should do? This mark on the desk left over from the ribbon. Yes. The ribbon for the 1525. I should just take the magic eraser, rub it. I already cleaned it, but it's still there. And, shaboom. <coughs> it's all gone. Anyway, it, this one drive, which just, I don't know, it, it just had the, the, the dirt of the ages on it. Um, you know, if you, it probably more than doubled the value or just, just the curb appeal, as they say. I would bet. Anyway, this other one here, I am tempted at some point to, as we still have some sun left over, and I think we're going to have some for the next days, to take and set this outside in the sun and see what happens. I don't do the chemicals. I don't. Anyway. Thanks for coming. We'll see another day. I'm just looking at the discs. If they can be rescued. And, you know, tempting is, I mean, I don't like ruining discs that are brand new. I don't. And I'm certainly not going to, but I know, like this disc here. <coughs> I don't, well. It was formatted for the IBMs. I formatted it a test thing. I'm going to have to be really tight on the cutting. Oh, you know the other thing I should do? Before I cut, see that this does move around a little in here. Just a little, it can. Or you have to center it. I really need to knock it down so it isn't quite in the center and then slice the side. Yes. Anyway, who knows? Maybe this will be the disc. Although it's, it's very... Very pretty disc. I'd rather find another disc that, and I've got discs around here that are not so new and not so pretty. And it's funny, I did, there were some discs I was testing for a family that was over visiting, and I know there were some in there that just weren't. Now, maybe they need to be opened up and cleaned. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to take this water down, rinse off the magic eraser, and uh, we'll see what we work on next. Certainly, the discs are drying nicely. They look a whole lot better than they did. Let's see if it made a difference. I do. We don't know if the information was intact anyway. We've done all that can be done. Bye for now.